live now. At least I think I am. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm actually wanting to do a product review for you um, about something that I'm going to be uh, using as tools to teach um, for later classes that are coming up this year, 2020 on the channel. And I am actually really excited to bring this to you. <clears throat> there may be some of you guys who don't know about this type of crocheting. It's called Tunisian crochet. And Tunisian crochet is incredibly simple. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of a combination of knitting and crocheting, um, where you basically gather all of your stitches onto one hook with, instead of one needle, kind of like you do in knitting. And then of course, pulling the uh, loops through uh, your stitches two by two with a hook. So I want to go ahead and start this review by showing you three different types of crochet, uh, Tunisian crochet hooks that I have purchased so far. Now I've had, <clears throat> I've had these over here for a while and I just wanted to kind of give you guys kind of my take on these different ones. I'm not really <laughs> fond of these uh, cords. So I'm going to show you the difference here. We have these kind of cables here, which are very thin, and they're like a hard plastic, so they don't rub against the yarn. And then you have these type here that actually do tend to kind of, your yarn kind of skids across as you're trying to move the stitches up, and it can be kind of a problem. So um, anyway, I don't know the actual brand names. I don't think these even have brand names, to be honest. I found these both on um, Amazon. And this one here is plastic. And this one here is a type of wood. I don't even know what kind of type of wood. They were just really cheap. And I wanted to have something to um, do the Tunisian crochet with and um, just kind of be able to get started. So, and then over here I have the Knit Picks brand. No, I'm sorry, not Knit Picks. Scratch that. This is the Knitter's Pride um, brand that I just bought this week and I've been using it over here to make this product this project excuse me <clears throat> and um, this is the one that comes with the, the black cords um, and the little stopper at the end this just screws on to the end um, but anyway I wanted to show you guys the different way that they work so um, kind of the feel of each um, hook and kind of show you guys how they work and how they feel and all that kind of stuff and get my kind of my opinion on it especially as a crochet, as a crochet teacher. So, all right. So first we're going to go ahead and do the knitter's pride since I have it here in my hand. And I like, first of all, okay, this head right here is kind of different. I don't know if you guys can see it because my camera is not adjusting as it should. The head here is kind of like a diamond shape. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's pointed. Let me get this out of the way. Maybe you can see it better against the white background. <clears throat> okay, so you have this part here and it's it's pointed at the top and it's almost 100% pointed down here at the bottom. It's slightly rounded, just ever so slightly. It's not something like it's really jagged or sharp. It's not like the top is. Um, if you turn it this way, you can tell how deep the throat is on it here because it does catch enough of the yarn where you can use a larger type of um, yarn if you wanted to on this as well. So it's completely 100% bamboo. And I actually really, really do like this hook a lot. You'll see here that it comes in a set of different sizes. And according to this here, it comes in sizes E, which is a uh, size four or uh, three, yeah, four, which is 3.5 millimeter. <clears throat> and this one here is a size F. And then of course you have your G and H and I, and then I'm using the J right here and then K and it comes up to size L. So you're definitely going to have plenty to choose from when you're doing your projects. So anyway, let's get on to this as we go here, let's go ahead and get into this so I can show you. All right, so this yarn actually 
Um, this is the mainstays yarn that I'm using here. And I think the yarn, I think it de depends on what kind of yarn you're using as well, because some of it um, d has a different feel to it. Some is like really soft and some is kind of, I don't know, maybe it has a little bit of a stickiness to it and can kind of rub against the hook. But this bamboo works really well for that. It doesn't really skid. So, um, and this right here, this very... Um, end right here that goes through the loops is not something that you know it's, it doesn't grab the yarn and tear it up it actually goes through the loops pretty easily which I'm thankful for because I've had some that actually some hooks in the past that actually kind of just get stuck on the yarn so and then it's stuck on the loop and you pull it out and it doesn't look right um, but anyway yeah so these are not bad I actually really like these for, and it's, it's, again, it comes in a set. So you're getting all the sizes that you need. Um, and if you are a, like say an avid <clears throat> um, Tunisian crocheter, this is actually not a bad product to have because again, you have all the sizes. So if you know that you're going to be using them a lot, this is probably a really great idea. Um, it would be like having a set of knitting needles or a set of other crochet hooks. You want to have your sizes there. And of course it comes with all the different cords and these cords here, some are like really long, some are kind of a medium. The one I have on here is kind of short and you can basically make like a scarf on this one here. And to be honest with you, with what I'm working on here, there are going to actually be some projects that are really, really not very wide. And so you can actually just take the cord completely off and use the needle for what it is or use the, the hook for what it is um, without the cord. So, um, but this one actually, again, you have, they're on there and they're not, they're not um, causing me any issues. And uh, the only problem is keeping this on here um, in the video and it, it keeps hitting stuff. So it's making noise. Um, so yeah, this isn't bad. And I like the fact that it has this tip on it because it goes through the loops really easily. It just gets right up under there and you don't have to uh, struggle. So I like that. But notice how, again, with Tunisian, um, for those of you who are students of mine on this channel, um, notice how with Tunisian crochet, you're actually just gathering your stitches onto the hook. So you're not actually making stitches the way you do in regular crochet. The stitches are actually going to be finished. This is like half the stitch <clears throat> or actually I can't really say that this is actually one row, but the stitch is finished or I should say probably made on the next row. It's on your way back. But anyway, eventually I'll teach you guys how to do this and it'll be It'll be a lot of fun when we get past our knitting stuff and we start doing some knitting pro projects that I'll go ahead and start teaching the, uh, the Tunisian crochet. But anyway, so yeah, this is a really good uh, set. I like them so far. Um, I think I paid $45 for this and I bought it on Amazon. So yeah, I like, I really like this one. It's not bad. Let me finish this row here and I will go ahead and show you with the plastic hook. Um, again, you know, when it comes to a difference of plastic and wood, there is a, a bit of a difference. One slides better than the other, but it, you know, I've had plastic hooks that have been really a problem and some that are very smooth. So we'll kind of get into that now, but yeah, this isn't bad. I feel like it has a little bit of a a coating on it and it's kind of shiny. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it feels like there's a coating or something on it. Like this feels kind of raw, but kind of filed down, you know, softened a little bit with a, with a, a file of some kind. Um, but it, yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I, I like it. Um, hopefully maybe I can get another set from Knit Picks cause I, I like their products too. Okay. <clears throat> so let's move on to the other ones here. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and try to put these on the floor because <laughs> I didn't have any room up here. Okay. So let's get the plastic. <clears throat> now, because this is cheap, it's not really the best. I don't think it's probably the best to use. First of all, you'll notice the head is completely different. It's almost squared off. This is not even... It doesn't even have like the head on it like this one does. Okay, so it's you're, it's almost like you're missing something um, here and it does actually make a difference in the way this works. So 
and I'll show you what I mean. Like when you go in, so it doesn't glide too badly, but when you go up underneath and it, it catches pretty well because of, of the point here, you come through here, it's really squared. Now it's not bad. It does, you know, it does go through loops, but because it's kind of a fat, blunt um, area here, it, you almost have to open up the stitch more to get it through. So, and it's not really grabbing the yarn very well. So, I don't know. I, I would not necessarily recommend these, but if it's what you can afford, um, you know, I mean, it can't hurt anything. For the Tunisian crochet, it seems to work a little bit better than for regular crochet, like these types of these round, these really wide rounded bottoms here. Um, with the point here at this end, it does make it easy to go through, but the head is just, it's just not, um, well, it's not something I would use. So I don't know that I recommend this one too well. Um, you know, again, it's really cheap. I think I paid, I don't know, maybe $5 for the set. And it's a set of like 12 sizes, I think, or something like that. It's, there's a lot of them, but they all come with these rubber cords and the rubber cords are, um, unfortunately, you know, as your project gets longer and you have stitches down here and you have to move them up like you would if you were knitting, um, those stitches tend to rub against this and they're hard to pull. You have to kind of go like this and push them up and they kind of skid across it and it's kind of annoying. So these, I really don't, um, care for. So let me see, let me go ahead and take this off here and we'll go back down to this and we'll do the, the wooden one next. And these actually, believe it or not, they're just as cheap as the others are. Um, they still have these cords on them or these, uh, rubber cords. And I think I paid about the same price, but this wood is very, very smooth. It's really smooth. This is, um, I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it's very, um, there's like, there's no coating on it. Like there is on the Knitter's Pride bamboo. And I feel like this is a better hook when it comes to, to bringing the yarn through only because it doesn't, um, it doesn't rub on the wood. So, um, I'll show you here. Now the head is a little bit different on it. It has the same type of point. It's a little bit longer in the roundness down here than the, um, than the other one here. So you have a little bit more hook to work with. Um, but you know what? It's almost like this almost feels like the better of the, of the two worlds. The only problem is that the way that, because this is so cheap, the way that they did this part here, okay, it's almost kind of off center. It doesn't look like it's like this part here is kind of slanted. It doesn't really fit with the, with the thumb grip here. And also this area here, because they're cheap, they don't really shave them down or file them down very well. So, you know, you need some sandpaper and go in there like really fine sandpaper to soften this up so that it's not catching on your yarn. But as far as the type of head that this is, I actually really like this one. It's not as jagged as the bottom of the, the uh, Knitter's Pride. And it's not nearly as blunt as the bottom of this other plastic one. So yeah, I kind of like, I think the head on this a little bit better in some ways, but it does tend to grab right about here and right about here because of the fact that it is cheap <laughs> and it's just not, um, it's just not as well made. So that's the difference I think between the two types of wood is that this is a lot more smooth where this one is, I mean, you're not going to get any splinters off of it, but you are definitely going to have a little bit harder time getting your yarn to pull down. Um, again, there's no coating on it, so it, it is a little bit different in that way. And it's softer feeling than this is, but it's, you know, again, in this certain area, you're going to, it's going to catch. So I think what I like is the head on this one, the, uh, the shaft on this one, the shaft on this isn't bad, but I don't like the blunt head on it. So I'm going to say, I think I'm probably going to give this one um, out of 10, this plastic one, I'm probably going to give this mm, a six. And 
the one I'm using currently, I'm probably going to give a, I'll probably give it a six as well, simply because it catches too much. If you can file it down and make it soft, it might go up to a seven. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the more expensive brand, the uh, Knitter's Pride, I'm going to say this is a lot better hook. Um, the way that it's made, um, the fact that it does have a coating on it and yeah, see, it gets caught on the, it pulls the, the, th the threads and stuff in the yarn. Let's see if we can get, nah, we're not going to do that. We'll just pull it out. Okay. So yeah. And then of course the, the tip up here is much easier to get through. And then of course you've got that here, which actually brings it through that loop. Um, I, I think I tend to like the, again, this head better. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm used to the crochet hooks being like that more often. I'm not used to having crochet hooks at this, this uh, point at the bottom, but it's not bad and it's probably something to get used to, but it does work really well. And I think they did that on purpose so that it would be easier to get, um, you know, get the hook through that loop. So anyway, but you know, guys, there you go. <laughs> Those are the Tunisian crochet hooks that I have currently, and I'm sure that I'll probably have more, you know, down the road as we go. And um, so far, I'm really liking the uh, Knitter's Pride, actually. So if you guys have to go onto Amazon and buy something cheap, I completely and totally understand that. Okay, you want to have something you can learn on. And here's my suggestion. Okay, if you want to learn how to do Tunisian, I would say for a fact, do not buy anything expensive. You don't want to spend $50, you know, on a set when you can buy something like this to start out with and see if you like it. And especially on Amazon, because guess what? If you hate it, you can just send your stuff back, right? So there's no sense in, in, in buying this unless you plan on becoming a, um, you know, passionate Tunisian crocheter, then by all means grab it. And it's not that expensive and you'll have it forever. And I don't really foresee these breaking. They're actually really good quality. So, and I like the fact that they're kind of like this brassy gold color and the fact that they have the black cords, it just, I don't know. I, I think it looks kind of sophisticated, you know? So anyway, but if you need really cheap hooks, I would say go to Amazon, look at their Tunisian crochet hooks and see what they have. You can find them under the plastic Tunisian crochet hooks. You can find them um, just, you know, I mean, you can find them all over the internet, but I would, I would, if you have prime, I would get them on Amazon. And um, yeah, I would probably stay away from the wood because they do snag. I would probably go with this kind simply for the fact that it does, if you're new, it slides better. And this part right here probably won't be too much of an issue. It still has a point up here and it goes through the, uh, the loops very easily. So probably I would go with this one for a beginner. These wooden ones here, unless you shave them down, unless you can fix them here yourself with sandpaper, I probably wouldn't even bother with them. So <clears throat> again, that's just my opinion. Um, you know, that's kind of how I see them. I've been using them for a while now and, and, uh, that's kind of the conclusion I've come to, but yeah, I think knit, knit picks or not knit picks. I keep saying knit picks. I have knit picks a needle, uh, knitting needles. So I'm getting confused by them because I really don't buy knitters pride items, but, um, this is the knitters pride, uh, Tunisian crochet hook set bamboo. And it's actually pretty great. I really do like it. Um, I've made this entire swatch with, uh, this needle. And so far it's been great. And the size I'm using here is a size J you get your nice tight stitches here. And, um, uh, it, it's, it's actually been really great at this part here. Doesn't, it's not, it's not rough. It doesn't have any rough edges on it. So it's not catching on the yarn and up here it is kind of, I don't know. I think maybe they could do a little bit better job. I might write to them and say, Hey guys, you know, could you, could you sand your, your, you know, sandpaper your stuff down a little bit more? Cause it's kind of catching on certain spots, but between the three, this is going to be your best bet. So Anyway, guys, there you go. I hope that if you're a Tunisian enthusiast that this video was helpful. I've been stumbling over my words a lot tonight. I've had a very, very, very long weekend. <laughs> had a lot going on, and so I am just very, very tired. And uh, But I wanted to make sure to come on here tonight and 
uh, do this review for you because I promised you guys that I would. And um, I hope that you guys will join me when it comes time to learn. Right now on the channel, we are doing uh, knitting and crocheting, just the basic stuff. Um, I've been teaching knitting uh, for, I don't know, probably about three, it's about three weeks now. Um, there's a lot of crochet videos on there, a lot of hat stuff, some scarves. So if you're new and you're just kind of coming in and going, I wonder what this is all about, check out Fiber Theory because guys, we are going places. Okay. The channel's growing. We're having all this new stuff going on and I've got, you know, scheduling that I've been doing and I would welcome you guys to come on in and join me and make things with me. I love to see the projects you guys make. And if you ever have questions about anything, <clears throat> I think the, the difference between me and some of the other people that are on the internet when it comes to this on YouTube is that I actually am a teacher and I actually am available <laughs> to answer any of your questions. So like if you send me a message, I will answer you back probably more than likely the exact same day. Um, also, if you have questions, if you have, if you have issues and you need tutoring or you need some extra help, um, I'm available all the time. Obviously I need to sleep at some point, but, um, if you send me a message on YouTube, I'll get it and I will answer you back. Or you can send me an email at fiber theory at yahoo.com and I will answer you back. So, um, you won't have to sit there and wait all day or a week. Oh, she never answered back. I am not that person. I will answer you back. I am not so busy that I cannot get back with you. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys come back. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and that you hit that little bell icon so you can see all the uh, future videos to come. And if you are interested in, in crocheting projects or knitting projects, or you're just learning how to knit, I would suggest going back and looking through my playlists and seeing what you might be interested in and go for it. So I will talk to you guys later. I will see you in the next video until I see you again. You guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.